Hi, in this video, I'll show you how to use PCG Biome Forest Poplar, step by step, tell you about all the settings. In the end, you will be able to create such a forest, customize it for yourself, add interaction to your character, customize the wind, and much more. The video is as short as possible. Be sure to see it through to the end. Let's go. Open the project we downloaded from the marketplace. Select everything in the content folder and migrate it. Select the project we want to migrate to. Select the content folder. Open the project that we downloaded from the marketplace. Go to config, select default engine, ENI, copy it. Go to the project we want to migrate. Go to the config folder. Delete default engine, ENI. Paste default engine, ENI, that we copied from the project that we downloaded from the marketplace. Create a new level. And save it. Loading an existing level with light. Configure the settings for the loaded level. Creating a terrain. Assigning our material to the terrain. We sculpt the terrain using brushes with alpha. You can download the alphas for these brushes at the link in the description of this video. Adding the P Global Foliage Actor. Adding PCG Biome Partition. The biome is generated inside the spline. Move the spline boundaries to change the biome boundaries. To generate a biome, spawn chunks, then generate PCG. If we want to delete, clear chunks. If you change the settings, then to apply the changes, you need to spawn chunk again then generate PCG. In row name, we can change the biome presets. In quality preset, we can select low, medium, and high for real time, and cinematic and path tracing for rendering respectively. If the preset is low, there is less distance at which the wind turns off and hides the meshes. Generate cover is responsible for the existence of cover. Without cover is generating faster. It is convenient when you customize the biome and cover turn on only in the final version. Spawn sound is responsible for the existence of sound actors with wind sound. If you change biome seed, you get a new placement variation. Add a second biome and generate two biomes. We can see that at the intersection, biomes are mixed. If one of the biomes enables intersect and sets biome priority to one, we will see that the biome with a higher priority will remove the other biome at the intersection area. If we add a third biome, Turn on its intersect and set a higher priority. We will see that the biome with a higher priority will remove all other biomes in its area. The highlighted biome has the highest priority and has removed biomes one and two where they intersect with it. Biome two has a higher priority than biome one. It removed part of biome one. Biome one has the lowest priority it stayed only in places where no other biomes intersect with it. Adding PCG Remover 
by default, the PCG remover removes everything in its area. To remove a separately selected component in PCG remover, you need to select the name of this component. Now only trees will be deleted in this area. If we select cover, the cover will be removed and the trees will be planted again. To add a forest biome to a level where there is a river, simply add a PCG biome partition and move the spline boundaries. Then spawn chanks and generate PCG. We see that the river is automatically subtracted from the forest. We get a finished forest biome with a river. By turning the global foliage actor, we change the wind direction. The wind blows from the side of the arrow. That is, if the arrow is to the left, the wind blows from left to right. In the global foliage actor settings, we can change wind strength, wind direction random, and wind direction random speed. The parameters are according to their names. Opening the skeletal mesh of the character to which you would like to add foliage interaction. Find the foot bones and add sockets with those names. Open the character's blueprint and add BP Foliage Interaction. Compile, save. Select game mode of the character to which we added Foliage Interaction. Checking Foliage Interaction, we see that everything works correctly. To change the interval of walking sounds, Go to BP Foliage Interaction and select Step Interval. If we want the sounds to be more frequent, enter a smaller number. If we want to remove sounds from the character during walking, delete this execution. Thanks for watching. If you want to support us, you know the way to handle it.